Welcome back to my channel. Today is a finally beautiful day outside. After a few months of winter, the flowers are already blooming. On yesterday's walk, I saw some violets on the ground and I was thinking of making video how can you make beautiful photos of your favorite flowers without macro. So let's spend some time outside and enjoy the sun. One of my favorite places I used to go here just for walks or runnings. It's not so much far away from the town, but it's a little forest. So let's just make some nice walk and look for flowers. So keep in mind that you have to find a clean space or clean forest uh, far away from the town. Gather only as much flowers as you will use. So here I have a bunch of flowers. As you can see I have just few flowers because I will need no more. Try to focus on pieces that are really fully opened because this way you will get them a beautiful photos. So now let's go home and prepare flowers for tomorrow's photoshoot. So here we are finally home. It was pretty cold outside. I a little bit underestimated the weather but now let's take a look at the flowers i will show you three methods how can you store these violets you can use these methods also for another type of flowers before anything else don't forget to smell the violets i love the scent of these flowers while showing you the methods, I put the violets into the water to keep them fresh. So let's begin. First two methods which you can use is to candy your flowers. You will need small brush to gently brush the petals with syrup. Syrup is really easy to prepare. You will need just sugar and water. Or you can use the method of brushing petals with egg whites and then add extra sugar onto the top. Both of the methods are really easy and you will have to wait approximately one day to get the flowers dry. Now it depends just on you if you prefer the vegan version without eggs. I tried both of these methods and both got me almost the same results. I think that method with egg whites is more simple because you don't have to solve the consistency of the syrup. If you have your flowers already candied, then you can use them not only for taking nice photos, but of course also for cake decoratings or food decoratings, which looks really nice. But today I was using these flowers specially for photo shooting. As you can see, petals stayed opened and you can perfectly see the whole flower. I used some additional stuff to make my photos more eye catchy. First of all, I choose white structure background. I use this background on all of my photos. I like how it contrasts with the violet flowers. This white background also caused that the image stays clear and luxury. I wanted my composition to stay clear and simple. So when it came to choosing additional stuff, I chose very precisely. I like to use kitchen stuff on my photos because it can suggest that the flowers are fully edible. Using white kitchen stuff with the white background also causes that the flowers will be more enhanced. My next tip is to use a little bottle. You can get these bottles in decorating shops. Gently put the flowers to the bottle using tweezers because petals are really fragile. 
You can also add some nice components to the background of the photo to make more depth. I use these dried white flowers which complement to the whole composition. As you can see compositions with clear glass look really minimalist and you can see details of the flowers. Another tip is to make some action in the photo. The idea with flowers sprinkling out of the cup is one of my favorite. However, this composition has much more colors. I also tried to change the structure of the background and I tried to use a fine lace. But I think that the background is now uh, much structured and it is merging a little bit with the flowers. Showing stuff in the action or in its use is the most natural way how to get information about what is this stuff about. So if I want to take some photos of decorative flowers, why not to use them right while decorating cakes? And because I love baking bundt cakes, this was the straight choice. I think that adding some white chocolate on the top and then put the flowers would be even better idea, but this looks more natural. Now let's move to the first method of storing the flowers and make them ready for photoshoot. This idea is super easy. Just prepare the box where you ordinarily put water on ice and add exactly one flower to the one square. Pour the water to the ice bucket and if it's necessary straighten the petals. Then put the ice bucket to the freezer. After a few hours you are ready to make some ice flowerly photos. I love this method of storing flowers because this way I can prepare various flowers, for example in early spring and then use the flowers in summer when they are not blooming. This way your ice flowers are ready whenever you need it. In addition, when you defrost the flowers, they remain fresh and act like just gathered. On the other hand, when you are taking photos with eyes, you have to be really quick and ready for some wet areas. With eyes, you can also make some interesting compositions and play with adding some stuff, for example, clear glass. Or you can stand ice cubes on top of each other. I hope you like these compositions of making some nice photos of your favorite flowers. Yes, indeed, that the fresh flowers are for taking photos the best. But sometimes you just don't have time to take photos immediately or you just want to take photos later or with some other stuff and you have to store the flowers. I hope that these methods will be helpful for you and you will have a lot of fun. And which method would you prefer more? Tell me down in the comments. And for now, I hope you'll have a great day and see you in the next video.